Okay, see now this, this is going to be something very, very special. Ladies and gentlemen, what is going on? Welcome to the debut of Dragon Ball Z Budokai Tenkaichi 3 mods on this channel, Unreal Royale. I know that it's kind of weird because I do this on my main channel, but for this, I'm going to do things a bit different, obviously the face cam, and I thought to myself, why not do specific battles that fans want to see, and being that we're just around the time of Broly and the whole Broly hype and all the Broly notion going around, I want to go ahead and do a very specific battle, including the following, so let's not waste any more time and begin, and of course, if you guys are new to this channel, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button, leave a like down below, drop a comment, let's do this. So. I want to go in ahead and uh, I think I want to start off with Broly here. Uh, I'm going to choose Broly to be on my squad because Broly is Broly. Of course, you can't have any sort of battle of, of a huge magnitude without Broly. And I think what I'm going to do is I'm probably going to include two very unsuspecting characters. And what I mean by that are I'm going to include Jiren. And I want to include Jiren uh, in his regular form first before he goes like all out and just, you know, powers up to his full power. So Jiren the Grey, and I think the final component, the final person I want to add is going to be Cumber, because Cumber is Cumber, so why not, right? Broly, Cumber, and Jiren versus everybody, essentially. Now, I want to go on ahead and start things off with Super Saiyan Blue, Kaioken times 20 Goku. Alongside that, I want to fight and sink my teeth into Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta. Alongside Vegeta, I want to fight. You know what? Let's make Gohan relevant for once because he's never relevant to begin with. So I want to include uh, whatever version of Gohan this is. So Gohan, alongside Gohan, I want to add Android 17. And the final person, some of you guys may already know, is going to be a Golden Afuriza. Going to throw him in the mix. And you know what's crazy? I thought about doing this battle on my main channel, but I was like, you know what? I think it'll be something special, more meaningful here. So let's go on ahead and do this and see what happens. So I am going to start a brand new playlist for Tenkaichi Mods. I will drop a link down below for you guys to go on ahead and check out. Uh, I will be covering mods over there and over here, but over here, we're going to do specifics. So if there's any other, you know, specific type battle you guys want to see or whatever, let me know in the comments and I will do that for you guys. Here we flippin' go. Broly versus Son Goku. Oh, man. You know, the thing is about Broly, everybody and their mothers, like, they originally thought, including me, that this mysterious Saiyan that was going to appear was going to be Yamoshi or someone that has relevance to Yamoshi or something like that, and it ended up being Broly. So everyone lost their minds when Broly actually made his re-entry re in the Dragon Ball franchise. However, however, I'm waiting for this man to use Ultra Instinct because... Uh, I'm not going serious, I'm not going hard at all. Uh, it's basically 3 on 5, so I'm gonna have to like pick and choose my fight very carefully right now. You Kakarot, I am going to shove my fist down your <laughs> down your throat and up your ass. Or at, at least I will shove my fist up his ass that it'll come out through his mouth. See, that's vicious. I could see Broly doing that. Um, but also, if, if this fight were to happen, let's say we have a 3 on 5, right? We have Jiren, Cumber, and Broly versus Goku, Vegeta, Gohan, 17, and Frieza. Who wins? I know the obvious is going to be, oh man, Broly, Jiren, and, and Cumber stomp. Which, I would agree to that. I would say yes. But, we're not looking into taking into account Mastered Ultra Instinct. The fusion between Goku and Vegeta. We have Golden Frieza possibly blowing up the Earth and doing whatever he has to do to solidify his victory. Look at this. This man is getting tickled. He's getting tickled so hard that bruises are appearing from the tickling. Broly right now is bringing the firepower. So, you know, this is this is actually kind of fun because I love this game. A lot of you guys are like, oh, oh man, like why aren't you playing Dokkan or Legends or whatever? I really do enjoy this game. And for the Spanish community, the Latin community that produces these mods, they do a great ass job, man. These dudes put in some time because these mod these mods come out crisp as hell. So once more, uh, the only way I'm going to showcase more of these mods is if you guys want to see them. If you guys don't want to see mods, then simply let me know. Uh, and I'll, and uh, everyone's gonna be asking, oh, what about this? What about that? What about Tenkaichi? Two, what about Xenoverse 2, whatever the case may be. Um, I think I'm only going to be covering uh, Tenkaichi 3 mods only on this channel because, of course, Xenoverse is going to be on my primary channel and whatnot. So, but either way, aside from all of that, we have we have a lot. We have um, we have Call of Duty, we have Spyro, we have Red Dead, 
So, you know, essentially enough, this is the gaming channel. This is the gaming channel to where we play all games, and this is one of them. This is considered a game. You know what? Um, I I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and swap out. I'm gonna swap out with my boy. Oh yeah, the, the original body, the the original person who bodied Goku. And this is scary, man. Like I, I'll be honest. In the beginning, when I first found out about Broly, I didn't want him to surpass Jiren. That was just me. I was like, you know what? I don't. Oh, what the hell? Oh my God! Touche, touche, Vegeta. You. He got me when I least expected it. He got me with that final flash moments before I was about to uh, just run in there and just tear him to pieces. So, originally, I didn't want to see Broly surpass Jiren in any in, in, in any way at all. Uh, because I still stand by the idea that I feel like Jiren should be stronger than Broly. I think that Broly should be a, a, a level below Jiren. Not by much, though. Uh, because the way Jiren was represented... He had some, he had a mean streak to him, and I, I really didn't, wow, okay, wow, this dude, this dude Vegeta, props, props, he just, uh, he just bock on me to the floor, dude, alright, listen, that Galagun ain't gonna do it, man, you're gonna have to, you're gonna have to cook me with something else to put me down, because you're, you're looking at Jiren, bro, and right now I hit my max power, so you are in trouble, look. oh, it's done, as soon as I hit him with this, oh, what he oh, yeah, he's finished, man, sorry, Vegeta, I mean, you ain't coming back this time around. But you, you know what the thing is, too? Um, there are so many characters in Dragon Ball that just exceed limits and break limits and stuff that it's pretty crazy. Um, you know, I, Jiren was one that I really enjoyed. And for the most part, I also enjoyed his story, too. I felt as if he had a natural story. You know, someone that felt abandoned, someone that felt like they were out of place. It was, it was a really cool, you know, little story to have. And a lot of people kind of crapped on him. They were like, oh, man, this, that, and the third, Sasuke. And I was like, you know what? Like, just give him a chance. Let, like, let the guy shine and just, you know, whatever story they tell, they tell. So, you know, I just felt like in the anime, they never truly got a chance to execute his power. Or at least his story. Speaking of power, bro, this is power. When Jiren, yo, when Jiren first went crazy, if, if, if Jiren fought Vegeta like this, I'm sorry, but it's done. Jiren stomps, man. And, and... And, and the reason for that is because when you go back and you look at the way he fought against uh, Master UI Goku and he was holding his own against Frieza and 17 and Goku, it was it was a monumental event. So for me, it's like, you know, Jiren will, st will stand the test of time of being one of the most badass dudes out there, like, period. What? Oh, what the hell? Oh, what happened? Wait a minute, folks. Wait a minute. Wait. Oh, there we go. Oh, yeah. Now you're about to catch these hands, homie. You're, you're, you're looking at a, a, an enraged Jiren right now. I'm about to just dog you out. Look at this. He's at his max power. I'm at my max power. However, I am taking Vegeta a bit lightly here. Um, and I need to I need to reinsure myself that I'm going to body him. However, I need to also decrease in my power, too. Uh, I want to regress real quick. I want to see if I can actually decrease my power. Oh, I think I swapped out by accident. All right, well, oh, yes. Kamba! Cumber. This dude, oh, am I really going to fly into that? I am. Uh-oh, this is bad. Oh, Cumber, you son of a squail. Oh, he got me there. Uh, all right, so Cumber has Super Saiyan 4, mind you. I can actually transform to Super Saiyan 4. So, this is going to be a problem for your mans right now. Because this dude's about to get bullied. Vegeta is about to get bullied, and I mean bullied, capital B on that one. And but I, also Cumber, Cumber is such a good character. I think, um, you know, I, I think that his overall introduction in Dragon Ball Heroes is kind of meh, um, you know, because we we really don't know too much about where Cumber stems from, and you know, blah blah blah. Uh, but I, I just really I love the character because he's so ruthless, and he's an evil Saiyan. He's someone that really you know, puts out, like, that vibe, like, listen, I don't care about, you know, any of you, like, he fought everybody, like, I, he fought Zeno, Super Saiyan 4 Vegito, he fought Super Saiyan Blue Vegito, he fought Super Saiyan God Goku, he fought Super Saiyan Blue, uh, Goku and Vegeta, he fought MUI Goku, like, that is some crazy stuff, man. However, this dude 17 is really starting to annoy me and i need to reinsure something because if this dude carries out with his plan then there is a possibility that he might beat me 
and Cumber versus 17. I would love to see 17's barriers hold up against them because I think ultimately 17 would have the durability factor, the stamina factor, but when it comes to raw power, 17 just gets outclassed so easy. Um, and I would love to see if 17's barriers could hold up against someone like Cumber because Cumber, I could see Cumber just stomping, like legitimately going in there and breaking all his shields. Like I, I don't see 17 shields holding up at all. Uh, just like just like how we saw with Jiren, I think that Cumber would just body all the way through. Uh, let me see if I can put this man out of his misery. All I see right now is just a, a cloud of just reddish, pinkish. This is crazy. Let me see if I can teleport in front of him. All right, now I'm about to transform. Watch this. Behold, Super Saiyan 4 Cumber, man. Look at this dude. He looks great. He looks so good. Oh, dodged and blocked. Nice. All right, let me see if I can put 17 down. 17 is public enemy number one right now. If I can put him down, then the next person I do believe is going to be Frieza. If not, it's going to be a damaged Goku uh, and a seemingly enough damaged Vegeta. So the only other person that I would say is kind of fresh is Gohan. Uh, so he would have the advantage here. I think Gohan would have the clear advantage in this because he's not hurt. Oh, okay. Yo, it's over. It is over. Cumber is just... Look at this. This is a Mortal Kombat beatdown. 17's done. Look at this. Look at the combos. Yeah, 17 is cooked. Sorry, 17. This man is giving... He's about to give him 100. Wow, never mind. For a second, all right, 93 hit combo, a 93 hit combo, and of course he's gonna swap out because he knows better. All right, to Frieza. Oh, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on. So Frieza, Frieza thinks he's slick, but little does Frieza know that I am about to. Oh, okay. All right, so Frieza may have had uh, some reinsurance there because I was about to just one shot him. All right, so Frieza right now is catching these hands. Look at the power. Look at the power of this man. All I see is just red. Just red aura. Just red, shiny ass aura. Oh god. Alright, yeah, Freeze is done. Freeze is cooked right now. If he. I, I have no idea what's happening right now. Oh boy. Alright, Freeza just got. Freeza just got lit. He got lit up like a Christmas tree. Alright, so where is our friend? There he is. Alright, so Mr. Freeza. I think I have to be away from Freeza to hit him with an attack like this. Maybe. Uh, even though I just hit him right now, uh, I think for that attack to be effective enough, I have to be away from him uh, in that sense. But I don't see Frieza surviving this because in a matter of seconds, I'm about to unleash another one of those bad boys. And then from there, it's, it's, it's lights out. Watch this, watch this, watch this. Oh yeah, Frieza, evil emperor you are? Nope, not today. Alright, so Frieza is about to die. Uh, he's hitting, he's about to hit yellow ter uh, territory. And then after after he hits yellow territory, it's all over from there. Uh, and I have characters that are that are relatively fresh, so I think uh, he he's, he's really he's really looking for me. Damn son! All right, so Frieza Frieza has just hit yellow territory. He's just hit red territory, and now he's about to hit dead territory in a matter of seconds. Hold on, hold on, hold on, Frieza, Frieza! Oh yeah, one one shot. It's it's done. All right, who's next? Who is next? Vegeta. This guy gave me problems. This guy gave me... Oh, boy. Can I hit him? Oh, he got me. Okay, so Vegeta is someone that I really got to get rid of. I got to get rid of him quick, man. Oh, my God, dude. Stop moving out the way. Yo, listen. If, if anyone's going to be the wild card, it's going to be Vegeta, without a question. He keeps moving out the way. He keeps powering up, like, all these crazy-ass levels. Eat this. Thank you. Jesus Christ. That attack... Okay, that attack did good. All right? Uh, he locked onto me, though, so I have to be careful. Oh, you see? You see? Oh, God. Go ahead. Come at me. There we go. Nah, you ain't coming at me, homie. We're, we're, not, we're not playing that game, Vegeta. We are not playing that game. Hold on. Because right now, I, I, I think Vegeta must have forgotten it. I, he had to have forgotten who he's dealing with. Uh, yo, this is Super Saiyan 4 Cumber, dude. Into the ground he goes. All right, who is next? We have Gohan. All right, Gohan is going to attempt to fight. Oh, crap. All right, so I think I'm, I'm going to swap out in, in a few seconds. I just need to, I need to lower Gohan's health enough for me to stabilize real quick. Because Gohan, oh boy. All right, if anyone's going to do anything, it, it might be Gohan right now. So I think... What I'm going to do 
is because I, I need reinsurement right now. I, I need some reinsurance that I'm going to put him down. Let this be something that's going to damage him because he hasn't transformed into Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan Blue, or any of that, which is good. Look at Cumber, dude. Cumber's on a mission to destroy everything. Oh, yeah, he's done. Gohan is done, dude. All right, we're going to swap out for Broly. Oh, yes, you, Kakarot. I choose you, the son of Kakarot, to be my victim. Whoa, what the hell was that? What is... What was, what was Gohan attempting to do there? Uh, I love how my health hasn't diminished too much, which is something that I, I, I can say is a good thing. However, I need to hit my max. I need to hit my max ASAP because I'm about to unleash my big ass attack. Oh, did I miss? I'm about to miss. I'm about to miss the attack. Yep, I'm about to miss because he just dodged. Okay. Fair play to Gohan. Fair play. Fair play. All right, the only difference here, what the hell? Oh my god. Ladies and gentlemen, Mastered Ultra Instinct Gohan. Okay, I think I might be in trouble here. Unless we could hit him with such force that it does more damage to him than he can come back for. If not, he's going to keep coming back with his BS and... I want to see what he's going to do from over there, though. Come on, little Gohan. Come on, son of Kakarot. All right, let's see if let's see if he can eat another one, because he's about to enter yellow territory, which is good. And I want to see if I can close things off with Broly. All right, so uh, he's still alive. All right, well, you know what? Two can play that game. I could also reach Master Dui. There you go. Ultra Instinct Broly, man. Look at this dude. Look at this monster. Look at this freaking beast of nature. And now, look at that. Ultra Instinct Broly is bodying Ultra Instinct Gohan. That's all she wrote from there. Gohan, I, I don't I don't think Gohan has anything to survive with right now. Unless, I mean, listen, he could do that all he wants. There comes my attack. Is he dead? I think he's done for. I think, yeah, I think Gohan's done. Gohan, that's all she wrote for Gohan. Alright, we have 17, who's about to eat some chocolate right now from Broly. Ooh, we got him with that too. Damn. Alright, so being that Broly right now, let me see if I can actually tank him. Alright, so yeah, that's it. That Wow, I can't believe it. We actually did this, man. I want to say, everybody, thank you all so much for watching. I hope you guys did enjoy. If you guys did enjoy, make sure you guys go on ahead and slap a big fat like down below if you guys are new to this channel. Hit that subscribe button. Check out the previous videos. Let me know what you guys want to see next time. And I'll be seeing you guys in the comment section below. Take it easy, guys. Peace.